Hello everyone, Tomas here. Today we're going to be talking about a PlayArt 040 locomotive that I recently restored. Um, I've had this locomotive for many years now. Um, here you can see multiple pictures of it from my very, very original layout, which was very cringe, but as you can see, I gave it a custom paint job with the gray accents and it, it just looked terrible. Um, so I was going through my stuff recently and I saw this locomotive and it hadn't worked well for a long time. So I decided, well, now that I'm really doing a lot of repairs, I should get this thing up and running again. Um, so when I first started testing it, it was not working at all. So I immediately just said, let's take it apart. Um, and as you can see, it was extremely dirty inside. Um, and then as I got further into it, I noticed that the chassis was actually cracked on the bottom. So the damage was worse than I thought. There was also a lot of like green sludge inside i don't know it was absolutely just disgusting inside it's just very very unusual i had never seen anything like that i mean it literally looked like someone used their boogers to like lubricate this thing <laughs> um anyways <laughs> sorry it's just unbelievable um i basically just went in and did the typical cleaning routine using isopropyl alcohol uh, I scrubbed down every single piece, and I also tried to scrape off as much paint as I could. Eventually, I got all the pieces nice and clean. Um, then I decided to clean the shell and all the parts with some dish soap. So I just put it all in a jar and did that. While that was happening, I re-glued that crack on the chassis back together using some super glue. Um, unfortunately, while handling, the uh, crosshead came out. However, it was actually pretty easy to fix, just using a regular old ball peen hammer. After that, I had gotten the motor working, um, and it seemed to be fine at the time. However, as you can see in this test footage, it was very rough running, and I wasn't really sure why. Um, I decided to just go in and clean the wheels because I figured that was a problem. However, after doing that, for some reason, the motor just kind of still was not working. I really don't know what was wrong with it. Um, here's a clip of it running. Um, this was before I had a layout. And as you can see, yeah, it just sounded terrible. Um, here in this picture, you can see that the locomotive is getting power, but the, the motor just is not moving. So at that point, it had completely died. Um, so I went through my spares box and I found a model power motor that had the same diameter as the PlayArt one. So I just stuck that one in there and it was a perfect fit. Then I had tried to strip the shell of the old paint and that went terribly, as you can see, because yeah, the, I don't really know how to describe it, but the original paint like came off in some places and then in other places it was just being extremely stubborn. So I really, I had no choice there. Um, so I bought a new shell. This shell was kind of silly, as you can tell, it's a planter's peanut shell. Um, and originally I was going to repaint this into like a German scheme, but I decided against it eventually because I ended up just liking it. And in addition to the shell, I bought a wagon that says planters nuts on it because, well, I mean, it's hilarious. Um, but then I thought, well, if it's a planters peanut wagon, then it needs peanuts in the wagon. So yeah, I put peanuts in the wagon. And I super glued those in place. And now I have a silly planter's peanut train. So, yeah. This was a pretty fun restoration project. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out. As you can see in the videos, the model power motor works fantastically. Um, especially compared to how it originally ran. Um, I also added extra pickups, if you can see in the videos. Which also helped with pickups. That wasn't the main problem with this locomotive, just it wasn't getting power and also the motor was dead. Um, 
But yeah, now it's a great runner. It can even do a crawl, and it, it's just a fantastic little 040. Um, if anyone else wants to try this project, I would recommend getting a hold of a model power motor because they're much better than the play art ones that these came with. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and now I'm going to just play some running clips. Have a good one. Bye.